Greetings. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In our last video, we explored what Microsoft Fabric is and why it's important in the data world. But wait, before we start using it, we need access, right? So, in this video, I will show you how to sign up for Microsoft Fabric by step by step. We will cover both the free trial and paid work account. Also, explain the differences and guide you through the setup process. Let's get started. Microsoft Fabric is an end to end data platform built on top of Power BI, Azure, and Synapse. The good news is you don't need to be a developer or a data engineer to start using it. Microsoft offers a free trial and you can also access it through your work or school account. If your organization already has Microsoft 365 or Power BI Pro licensing, then you can easily access it. To access Microsoft Fabric, go to the official link app.fabric.microsoft.com. Now let's talk about getting your free Microsoft Fabric trial. First, sign in using your work or school email ID. Gmail or Outlook personal accounts won't work here. This is the main portal where everything runs, including data flows, lake houses, notebooks, Power BI reports, and more. I already enabled the Fabric free trial and it is going to end in 9 days. If you logging in first time or not yet activated fabric free trial, then you will see a fabric trial option. Under your profile, then click on start trial. I already activated, so for me it's not showing. The free trial gives you Power BI Premium Features, Fabric Capacity and Access to One Lake for 60 days. If you don't have your work email, you can create a free one using Microsoft 365 Developer Program. I will explain you about it. Let's say you don't have your work or school account. You can create a free Microsoft 365 developer account which comes with a temporary work domain and access to Power BI and Fabric. For that, you need to go to developer.microsoft.com and in that select developer program. Then click on join now. You can use any personal Microsoft account to sign up then choose Instant Sandbox. If you did, then you will get a new domain like, for example, if you are giving your name, then your name at the rate of your domain dot on Microsoft.com. Then using that, you can log in to app.fabric.microsoft.com and start your fabric free trial. If your organization already uses Microsoft 365 or Power BI, you might already have access to Microsoft Fabric. What you can do is you can ask your IT admin regarding Microsoft tenant as enabled or not. Or you can directly log in to app.fabric.microsoft.com using your organization email. If you don't see the fabric experiences, then you can request them to enable it. A few things to keep in mind. Personal emails like Gmail or Hotmail 
won't work here. If you don't see the fabric trial, then your tenant might not be eligible. You can try using the developer program method. And free trials have limited capacity but are perfect for the learning and testing. After 60 days, you will need to switch to a paid plan if you want to continue using premium futures. So now you know exactly how to access Microsoft Fabric whether through a free trial or developer account or using your work login. In our next video, we will explain about data integration in Fabric and build a small project using pipelines and data flows. So don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos. Drop a comment if you face any issues while signing up. I will be happy to help you. See you in the next one.